group will be talking about veganism. Veganism is similar to vegetarianism. The key difference between the two lifestyles are vegans do not just limit themselves to not eating animal meats. Instead, vegan diets limit all animal products. This includes foods such as meats, dairy, eggs, and even honey. This strict and passionate lifestyle has brought many different opinions onto the vegan society. Many people see benefits from the vegan lifestyle, but many people also see consequences that come with this way of living. Throughout our presentation, we will discuss some of the benefits and also some of the consequences that are known to be a result from being vegan. The history of diets that conform to today's accepted vegan standards goes back much farther than you might imagine. This concept stretches back much farther than the beginning of the early modern movements of veganism. These roots of the vegan diet can be traced back thousands of years to Pythagoras of Greece and Siddhartha Gautama of India, who, of course, is fairly well known today as the Buddha. Back in these times, the vegan diet had a high degree of religious context, and therefore, the motivation for adherence to this diet was extremely spiritual. The modern version, however, of veganism began in the early 1900s by Dr. William Lamb and Percy Shelley. This new movement of veganism was not as spiritually charged as it once was in the past, but was more followed on the grounds of ethics. The term vegan was not coined until 1944, when a man by the name of Donald Watson was looking for a definitive word to describe this increasingly popular diet. A few years later, Donald Watson founded the Vegan Society. And this vegan society, which is still around today, continues to promote veganism on ethical grounds with the intent to free all animals from human consumption. Today, the vegan society is still the main educational and charitable society when it comes to veganism. The odds are pretty likely that everyone in this class knows about veganism. This is because globally, veganism has been on the rise. A study done by Forbes showed a 600% increase in vegans between the years 2014 to 2017. Examples of this increase can be seen by the number of vegan and animal right documentaries that have been filmed. Some notable documentaries are The Game Changers, Cowspiracy, and What the Health. Celebrities also play a huge role in the outreach increase that the vegan society has received over recent years. Celebrities such as Ellen DeGeneres, Nate Diaz, and Woody Harrelson have come out as vegan over the years. Also, as people learn more about animal treatment in the food industry, they see it as a moral and ethical choice to not consume any animal-based food. The same could be said about environmental problems the food industry causes. Furthermore, all these reasons have added as to why veganism is on the rise. Vegan diets offer the best treatment for prevention and management of type 2 diabetes. A plant-based diet has shown to reduce the risk of diabetes by 20% versus diets high in animal-related food consumption. Veganism has the lowest mortality rate from ischemic heart disease compared to omnivorous diets, as it's shown to reduce LDL cholesterol and triglycerides by 6-7% to and have the lowest non-HDL serum lipids compared to meat eaters, fish eaters, and vegetarians. Although many might argue there is a vitamin B12 and iron deficiency in plants and animals, in plant-based diets, a sufficient amount of these vitamins are attained through soy products, lentils, and other leafy greens. Plant-based vegan diets have been shown to be the most effective in helping people lose weight and maintaining their weight loss, as they experience decreased hunger cravings, discomfort from skipping meals, and frequency of their hunger. Vegans are often able to consume larger portions and still experience weight loss and glycemic improvement since most of the foods that fit in the diet regimen are low in energy and fat while being high in fiber. Converting to a vegan diet is seemingly easier to, in today's society as many restaurants are now doing beyond meat options to create more of a vegan friendly environment. Even though there are many benefits to veganism or plant-based diets, there are many cons to these diets. The main one and probably most commonly known is the potential for micronutrient deficiencies. Some of these deficiencies are vitamin B12, vitamin D, omega-3s, iodine, iron, calcium, and zinc. A vitamin B12 deficiency can cause macrocytic anemia and potentially neuropsychiatric disorders. Vitamin D deficiency helps, with, helps the body to absorb and utilize calcium and also helps in prevention of osteoporosis and bone fractures. Omega-3s help with brain and heart health, and iodine aids in thyroid health. Many red meats and more animal-based products contain high amounts of iron, which helps with hemoglobin formation, cellular energy release, and killing bacteria. A deficiency in this micronutrient can lead to anemia, which can contribute to heart failure. Calcium can help with bone density and prevention in osteoporosis. As a result, of this deficiency, vegans and people who adopted a plant-based diet 
are more likely to have lower bone mineral density. Zinc is a micronutrient that is important for cellular metabolism. These are all very important in a variety of body functions, and with a plant-based or vegan diet, people may be lacking these key micronutrients. Since supplementation may be needed for many of these micronutrients, supplements can get expensive when you have to potentially supplement seven different micronutrients. With the potentially higher amounts of fruits and carbs, rich food, uh, there's a potential for a higher sugar intake and a potential for diabetes that can occur. Uh, a study by Hibben, Northstone, Evans, and Golding stating that there's a correlation with higher rates of depression and veganism, plant-based diets. There is no significant difference in the risk of metabolic syndrome between vegans and omnivorous diets. There has also been no advantage seen in chronic disease patterns in vegan diets. Due to high protein density in meat and other animal products, there could be a potential for protein deficiencies. Many individuals who adopt a vegan or plant-based diet tend to use coconut oil in replacement of butter. The American Health Association does not recommend consuming coconut oil as it is made primarily of saturated fats which have been linked to cardiovascular disease risk. Even though many vegans have lower LDL levels, there's also lowered amounts of HDL, which is beneficial to have.